Hey folks, welcome back to Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. We're going to be picking up where we left off yesterday. Uh, how are you guys doing? I actually really enjoyed our time together with this game yesterday, so I'm looking forward to, to picking things up and see uh, what happens next. I can see a few people are in chat already. We've got Red Mario, Dark Swordsman, and John Stefanski, and Scott. Hey Scott, good to see you mate. How are you doing? Yeah, good to see you guys. Uh, well, it is just half past now, so it is technically stream start. I'm going to go ahead and, well, yeah, get started for today. Enjoy. Okay, have you played this game at all, Scott? Yeah, no worries, mate. Um, we actually had quite a bit of fun with it yesterday. Very, I mean, it's Dragon Quest, so you know what to expect if you know the franchise, but very traditional JRPG. And this is the first time I've played DQ3. Uh, I wasn't playing the Dragon Quest games back in 1988 when this first came out. But I feel like I might have missed out because uh, it seems like a pretty cool game. Yeah, and I like the fact that a lot of these 2D old style games that are getting remade by Square have this new Octopath Traveler type of art because I'm a big fan of this. Um, I have played Super Mario World Red. I've not played two, I don't think, although I might have done a long time ago. Okay, right, I need to remind myself what it is that we're supposed to be doing. Um, so how can I access like a quest log or something? There's recall, but that only tells us what we need to do. Hang on a second. Oh, I've not saved anything to recall. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, when you've gone through a cutscene, you need to press the start button and that adds the memory to your recall menu here. I'm not sure why you have to do it manually. I think everything should be saved here. It's just another silly thing you've got to try and remember. So yeah, a lot of good things about this game, but it isn't perfect. There's a few things that I think uh, could have worked out better. Right, anything here in info? Nope. Oh yeah, we did get our first mini medal, didn't we? So we need to hand that in at the well. Hey, Bobbo. How you doing? Yeah, lurks and leaves, definitely. Ever since I played Final Fantasy VII back in the day in the 90s, yeah, I've just been hooked. And haven't really looked back since. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not totally sure where I'm supposed to be going here. I suppose we should head up north into the big building that's probably going to have some answers for us of some kind. Yeah, no, I gathered that, Bobbo. <laughs> uh, nothing over here. There's lots of treasures to get in this game, of course. So that's why I do just have a couple of detours. Hey, Westbrook, good to see you. How you doing? Ah, uh, this is very similar to the first castle that we entered. Is that a blue door? It's more like a clear glass door, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so we can access all of the red doors now because we've got the thief's key. And we did go back to the first town. Can't quite remember what it's called. Uh, but we did loot a whole bunch of treasures from there as well. So that was nice. Yeah, how you been doing with your streaming, Bubbo? You been getting into the swing of it? Another barrel over here. Oh, pot, I should say. And we'll head up the stairs momentarily. Let's just have a brief detour around here. Yep, I can see another pot. Now, pots are often boring, but occasionally they do have, like, gear in or permanent stat boost items. So, it's definitely worthwhile checking them all if you can. Oh, Westbrado, thank you so much for the subscription. Appreciate that. And another barrel. 52 gold. Soon as how I was struggling with money yesterday, we've got well over a thousand now. So hopefully I should be able to pick up some nice gear. We cannot open blue doors as of yet. Oh, okay, Bobbo. <laughs> uh, 
That's cool. Right, who's this dude? He's sitting down. He seems like he's important to talk to. But apparently not. Yeah, does anybody know what these books actually do? I know that we can... Oh, see, I told you you get gear from looting. Um, I know that you can sort of read them, but I've no idea as to what the purpose is in doing so. Right, who picked up that book? I don't even know where it's gone now. But let's throw a few of the seeds around, the ones that we have anyway. And I'll just give them all to Fuzzy at the minute since he's my permanent party member. Okay. And what was the other thing we just looted? Uh, no. It was a leather something, but I don't think it's any of that stuff, is it? Oh, was it a leather hat? A leather hat, maybe. I don't feel like we needed it anyway. Eh, there we go. Oh, no worries, Bobbo. Yeah, I hope you've been doing well. Oh, you got it, Dark Swordsman. Brilliant. Are you going to be using that in your streams as well? Because it's pretty cool. It's copyright free. And obviously being Final Fantasy themed. It sort of suits the type of stuff that we do well, doesn't it? So I think it's worthwhile using. Ah, ha ha, I see Wesperado. That's good to know that is, thank you. I'm glad somebody's here paying attention. The last Dragon Quest game I played was... Which one was it? It was one I covered on the channel. Can't remember what it was called. I think we've looted this one, haven't we, yet? Okay, I'm going to head over to... Upstairs. Bound to be something up here that's important, maybe for the story. Yeah, that's true, Scott. Even me as a streamer. You know, I'm not streaming all of the time and I'm busy with other things, am I? Hello, Corbera. Good to see you again. Hey, good morning to you. You must be the hero of Aliahan. Your king sent word that you were on a mission of great importance. It is an honor to at last meet the scion of Ortega in the flesh. Your reputation precedes you. Now, there is something I must ask. Okay, what have we got to do next? Stolen from us our most sacred and regal crown. Were you able to return it to us? You would prove yourself a true hero. Believe me, you will not get a better chance to show just what a descendant of the great Ortega can do. Go forth <laughs> and may luck travel with you. Okay, so we're after a dude called Robin Ud, and he's got the regal crown, which sounds like he shouldn't have. He's stolen it, and we need to get it back. So I guess that's exactly what we can do. But before we do that, I'm just going to check I didn't miss any loots up here. As I didn't really pay attention to that. Hey, thanks for those of you that have just been following the Twitch account this morning or this afternoon. Uh, welcome to the community. Annoyingly, for those that want to chat, you just got to wait 10 minutes, I think it is, after following for the first time. That's just a combat spam. It's what Twitch recommended that I had set on the channel. So that's what I've done. But 10 minutes after following, you can chat uh, forever then. So thanks for bearing with me on that annoying limitation. And if you don't want to chat, if you're just here to lurk, that's absolutely fine. You're still very welcome. Uh, let me just check on the map here. It still hasn't updated. Oh, explore the new continent is all the quest tells us to do. And we're looking for Robin Hood. Not Hood, 
but odd. Hey! MC Coy, thank you so much. Appreciate the uh, subscription there. That's very kind of you. Yeah, definitely, Scott. I think because I haven't been streaming on Twitch for a while, uh, a few YouTubers, well, a few viewers from my YouTube channel have uh, been popping over, haven't they, to follow here, which is cool. Right, yeah, let's see. Oh, no, 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 don't buy anything. Yes, whoa, calm down, calm down. Pressed all the wrong buttons there. Um, okay, it's looking a little bit pricey here. Iron Lance. Yeah, it's a boost to stats. Quite a nice boost to stats, I would say. But I don't want to be spending all this gold. I don't think I need to. I think we'll get weapons and armor and stuff from the treasures and pots and that that we loot throughout the adventure. And especially inside dungeons. So I'd rather do that and save our hard-earned dosh for the time being. Oh, I've been good, thanks, mate. How have you been? I still haven't finished East 8 yet. I need to get back to that at some point. That's some more money. Nice. What have you been playing, MC Coy, lately? Yeah. Oh, it's always great to have you here, Wesperado. And I'm getting... Oh, I've got a turban. Sounds like something we can wear. Maybe for some extra stats. Um, yeah, I'm still getting used to Twitch myself, to be honest. Uh, but hopefully it's going to work out a little bit better than YouTube, because I was just having various issues with streaming on YouTube. For video uploads and stuff, yeah, it's absolutely fine. Oh, we've got another mini medal, okay. But for streaming, I just kept getting, like, disconnects and all kinds of technical issues, and it was really annoying. Also, guys, for your convenience, I've turned ads down to an absolute minimum on Twitch here. Um, I know a few people were moaning yesterday with the number of ads. And I hadn't touched the setting. That was just the, def the default setting. But I've rammed it right down to the minimum. Since uh, my Twitch channel isn't really big enough to be getting any kind of monetary impacts from ads anyway, so it just seems pointless annoying you guys with them. So you will still get some ads, unfortunately, but only, I think it's 60 seconds for every hour of watching, which isn't much for Twitch. The default was three minutes. And check out all this loot we're getting. Right, anything hidden down here, do you think? Hmm, don't think so. Uh, dog? Okay. Nope, nothing. Yeah, it was just the technical issues I was struggling with, to be honest, Red. Are oh, you playing Dark Souls 3 at the moment? <laughs> okay, that sounds cool, MC Coy. <laughs> hey, right, Devi. Yeah. I'm playing on PS5, so I don't know what console or system you're on. Uh, but for me, it's the square button will open up the main map. However, if you've just started playing, the feature doesn't unlock immediately. It, it does unlock quite quickly, but until you get the little tutorial telling you how to access the map, you can't do it. Okay? So you've only got the mini map until then. So if you can't, if you pressed all your buttons and you're not getting a map, chances are you haven't unlocked it just yet. But keep playing and you will. No, this game is now fully out. It was released uh, yesterday, in fact. So, yeah, anyone can get it. It's not early access. Yes, yeah, same with me, Dark Swordsman. I was getting quite fed up with uh, having to keep going through and appealing copyright claims and stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, MC Coin. No, it's out now. You can get it if you want to. 
Uh, right. So I think we're heading up north a little bit. Yeah, the yellow circle is the objective that we're heading towards on the map. Make sure we are all on fight wisely. Yep. And we're starting to get some different coloured enemies here. So I wonder if that means they're a little bit stronger than the previous coloured enemies we were fighting. I think you'll love it, MC Koi. I do. I really think you'll enjoy this game. Did you play the original DQ3, Dragon Quest 3? I'm guessing not. But you might have done. Maybe, like, emulated it or something. <laughs> At last we have tracked down those banditti. First, we will make our way north to the village of Kori before heading to the old tower. Now march, Cavalieri! Ah, scusi. By any chance, would you happen to have come from Aliaha? Then it is as I thought. We recently received a letter from the king of your nation. He mentioned sending a warrior off on a great quest. You are exactly as he described. I had hoped for some help tracking down. Oh, that's cool, MC Koi. You see, it was recently stolen. As a result, the outpost that leads to Portoga is closed until further notice. Mi dispiace for the trouble. I am truly sorry. I know this will not help your journey. However, the outpost will be open soon enough. We believe we have found the hideout of the thieves. The crown will be returned in due course. Viva il re! Sounds like those ruffians are in the tower to the northwest. The one that's just over the mountains. See, I saw it once when I made the journey to the western coast. It is quite a trek, let me tell you. Okay. I guess we can head north. Yeah. We're trying to... Okay, pass... It says right there, pass to the outpost and head to uh, Portoga. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to track down this thief, aren't we? Uh, did I just miss a barrel then? Maybe with some loot. Yeah. Honestly, you've got to keep your eyes peeled for these. Like I say, sometimes they can have important things in them. That one, not so much. Yeah, I've had all sorts of issues like that with YouTube over the years. Yeah, it's just one of the reasons that I really wanted to move away from live streaming on that platform. Okay, this is a secret spot. The world map is full of secret areas just waiting for someone to discover them. They look a little bit different to their surroundings. Okay, so keep an eye out. And you can get stashes of items or gold coins or something even more special, maybe. And I wouldn't be surprised because I'm playing on PS5 if there's some kind of like trophy or something to find uh, all of these secret areas. You never know. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Like an accessory or something. Full moon ring. It boosts our luck. Okay. I can't see what the other thing is it boosts because of the webcam. Just bear with me. Oh, no, it doesn't boost anything. It just says number held. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll... Th oh, actually, I think we want this on uh, Cletus. And the reason why... How do I get it off him? Is that luck may be better for our thief, but I can't unequip it. I'm pressing buttons. How the heck do you take equipment off? Okay, I think we can just equip it from somebody else's screen anyway. Yeah, so we don't need to take it off. Yeah, I can definitely see that some of these secret areas are going to be worth finding then, aren't they?
Okay. Right, we want to head over to the west. See what's over there. Um, I, I'm not sure if I have MC Koi, to be honest. Although I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube lately because of how busy I've been. Same reason why I've not been streaming as much myself. Although I think you may have mentioned that YouTuber before. It does ring a bell. Oh, this is good. We're starting to get a little bit more experience from these enemies now. And we've already begun hitting level 10. Right, Romarian Outpost. Hold it right there. That way lies Il Regno di Portugo, the Kingdom of Portugo. Is it Portugo or Portoga? If you want to go through, you must find the Chav Magica. Scusi, the magic key. Fasala. It used to be that anyone could come and go as they pleased. Okay. So the magic key, I'm guessing, is the key that's going to allow us to unlock blue doors. So we've already got the thief's key for the red doors. I actually like this little in-game mechanic of finding the different coloured keys. And it encourages you to go back and explore, doesn't it? Because I know for a fact, even in the first city, the first castle that we visited, there are blue doors we will be able to unlock. I'm not too sure. I haven't played the original game, so I don't know uh, how they compare. Okay, are there enemy encounters here? Something to be wary of, if there is. Yes. Yes, I have. It was a few years ago, but yes, I have. Um, right, how the heck do we get over here? Yeah, we need to get to that circle, but it looks like there's a ruddy great big mountain in the way. Oh, I can see. If we go up north, around the mountain, there is a bridge across. I wonder if we'll get vehicles later, like airships and stuff, for traversing the world map. There's bound to be something, isn't there? I mean, Star Ocean, you have bunnies, and Final Fantasy, you have chocobos. What do you get in Dragon Quest? I actually can't remember. Um, actually, it's interesting, MC Koi, but when I played Dragon Quest XI... Hey, Scott, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Yeah, when I played DQ11, there was no option to do 2D mode. That came, I think it was called the Definitive Edition or something, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it wasn't there before. Ah, oh, cheers, Scott. For three months, that's awesome. Thank you, mate. Um, I would like to try the 2D mode out, though. MC Koi. Because I have seen some videos on it, and it does look like a lot of fun. Plus, I wonder, are you able to do grinding and stuff faster in 2D mode? So it might actually be more efficient. But you can switch between them, can't you? Ah, <laughs> cheers, Scott. You've got a first icon next to your name now. So, yeah, well done on that. <laughs> Isn't... Dragon Quest 12 be made? Or have I misremembered something? Oh, okay, MC Koi. V 
these caterpillars can actually be really challenging, so... Hopefully they won't cause us too much grief here. Yeah, I can see it, Scott. <laughs> Red Mario, you love that fight, don't you? I think Osmo Red Mario is your favourite character in that game, am I right? Okay, there's a town here. We don't, as far as I know, need to go here right now. But it's on the way, so we may as well rest up in that if we can. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm, these have got a fair bit of health, haven't they? Yeah, I noticed that um, as enemies are weakened, their name, the colour of their name changes from green, I guess, to yellow, to orange, to red, and then they're dead. Red Mario, your message says your favourite enemy in FF9 is the Grand Dragon. And then uh, Twitch Automod held the message for uh, race or ethnicity. So, he didn't like that. Let's see if I can approve it. There we go. Yeah, even Twitch has its issues, even though it's supposed to be the number one streaming platform, doesn't it? Right, we should be able to rest up in here. This feels like a very nice, quaint village, doesn't it? If it wasn't for all the demonic fiends roaming around the world, some of these places would be really nice to settle down and live in, wouldn't they? I'll just check for any loot that any previous patrons may have left behind, such as a necklace of immunity. I'll take that. Throw it onto one of these here. Okay, this is Koreev. Um, I think we'll just pop to the church to update our save file. Oh, there's a red door here which we can open because we've got the thief's key. Can't really do much though. Oh, hang on, there's a treasure here. A pair of boxer shorts. I can't imagine a pair of boxer shorts giving us too much in terms of stats, but you never know, I suppose, do you? Yep, they actually give us a bit of a defense boost. I don't think I will, to be honest, MC Coy. No, if I'm going to be frank. I would have liked to, but realistically, I, I can't see it happening. I mean, it's all on my PS... Is that PS4 or PS3? PS4, I think. Uh, isn't it, that version? And I don't even know where my save games would be since I formatted the console a few times. Hey, Scott, thanks for sharing the emojis that I uh, invested in. <laughs> I think they look pretty cool.
Yeah, the main characters, Barrett, Tifa, Cloud, Aerith, and I think Sephiroth is in it. Um, I got those commissioned a few years ago from somebody on Fiverr.com. And then um, the enemies, like the Tomvery and the uh, other characters like the Koopa and the Chocobo and that, I just brought those off Etsy. A uh, little reward for those that subscribe. All right, then, MC Coy. Yeah, appreciate you stopping by today, mate. Yeah, enjoy Dark Souls 3. I don't know why, but Fuzzy, the main character, seems to level up a little bit slower than the other party members. They've all overtaken him. And he's still slacking on level 8. Right, I, again, I'm not going to be worried too much about purchasing weapons and stuff. One thing we could potentially do, how many Chimera Wings do we have? We've got five. I could go back to the starting town and just have a gander at what these mini medals would allow us to purchase. Maybe we can get powerful equipment with them. I don't know. And we can teleport back then afterwards. Right, there should be a water hole, a well somewhere. I think it's here. Yes, just over here. And where's the NPC? Oh, in here. <laughs> yep, three. What can we get for that? A thorn whip. That's a weapon that does area effects, I think. Okay, we've got a couple of items. So, yeah, we do get equipment rewards, it seems, which is really nice. Um, I don't know whether to give. Yeah, look at that. 54 attack. That's actually not bad at all. Yeah, we'll throw that on. Uh, what was the other thing we looted? Hopefully we've got a character that can equip it anyway. Hmm. No, don't think so. Uh, right, on that note, I guess we can teleport back. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, it's over here. I was going to say, where is it? Yeah, this is it. Kareev. Yeah, there's actually a lot of RNG, you know, Red, in the Ozma battle. More so than many other fights, uh, as in super boss fights from Final Fantasy. Which obviously makes it a little bit more challenging than it otherwise would be. Okay, we've got another town or something over here. I feel like I'm taking a lot of detours that I probably shouldn't be. But hey... It keeps unlocking fast travel, so <laughs> why not? Goodness, these enemies are tough. Oh, man, got to be on our toes with these. But a nice bit of experience there. 
So I'm not going to grumble about that. Oh, he's got... Uh, what's that? Poison or something? Yeah. Ah, new time of the cutscene. Okay, Bobbo. Yeah, have a great weekend, mate. Thanks for stopping by again today. Another quaint village. This time only with an inn, though. But we'll check for any loot. Everyone's asleep here, standing up in the day. Yes, I have heard of that strategy for Osmo. That you can drain its MP. Because, is it in Final Fantasy IX? When a... Yeah, I think it is. When an enemy has its MP drained to zero, they are killed, aren't they? And that is a valid means of defeating an enemy. Instead of draining HP, you can drain MP. Yeah, this is bizarre, isn't it? All of the townsfolk are just zonked out, it seems. And there's a blue mist in the air as well. Oh, hang on, we've got a quest here. Oh, I'm having no idea who you might be, but you must return the Dreamstone for us to the fairies, yes? If you are not finding and returning it, all the people that you see here will be cursed to sleep forever. The fairies dwell in a small village hidden in the woods by a cave that is west from here. Please, help us. Okay. So we've got like a couple of quests on the go now, haven't we? Can we use the inn or is it closed off until? Yeah, I'm thinking it's closed off because there's no icon on it. So I'll just check for loot whilst we're here. <laughs> oh, weapon. Okay, let's have a look through some of this equipment, shall we? So, Romeo probably wants the wizard staff, I would imagine. Feathered cap as well. Yeah, a few upgrades here. Okay, I don't think there's much else we can do in this town for now. Got to find... Something, uh, a dreamer's wand or something to give to the fairies, which are west. So, yeah, we'll need to keep an eye out for that. Um, going to head back down south. Maybe grab a couple of enemies along the way as we do so. Uh, for some experience. And then we'll rest up at the previous town. Yep, another level, always good. Quite sure going there. Yeah, this is right. 
Uh, these things are kind of my nemesis, but hopefully now that we've been leveling up, they should be a bit easier. Yeah. Killing them, I think, before they manage to get all their buffs off makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to head over to the quest destination next. I should probably save before we do that, though, because there's a few things we've done. Oh, what's that, Red? You found something. Is that about Ozma? Right then, guys, let's move on, shall we? Also, it doesn't actually die then, Red, if you drain all its MP. But it starts helping you out with the sooner. <laughs> Sounds bizarre, if you ask me. Right, just want to check how long until Fuzzy levels are. Um, 221. He seems to just be struggling to gain experience is all. Yeah, I think because... Oh, what's this here? Just a single encounter or is it a special fight? Nope, just seemed like a single encounter until it summoned an enemy. Yeah, Osma tends to be quite a bugged fight. I think it's because it's so unique, isn't it? In how it was designed, with the whole random element to its attack pattern. It probably messed up the uh, encounter in many ways that Square did not foresee. Okay, right, what is that? I think it's poison. Let's see if we can get rid of it. Yeah, it was poison. It's weird because the icon's pink normally in these sorts of games. It's like green, isn't it? I can't get up there. Makes me think we're definitely unlocking vehicles later on. Oh, right, Red. Yeah. It is quite bugged, them. Oh, not that I'm complaining. Although, to be fair, if it was going to use MP Absorb in turn of, like, Flare Star or something nasty, then it probably would actually help us. So, I guess it could be a little bit annoying that it doesn't. Uh, we're heading over to the west, but before we do that, there's some treasure. I don't think we can get it.
Okay, well, we're just about here now. Well, it looks like some kind of... Well, I don't want to guess an interesting place. Skyfell Tower. Yeah, probably worth uh, throwing another antidotal herb onto Nelson here. Oh, there's random enemy encounters. I was not actually expecting that. Ouch. Wow, these foes are pretty mean. Hopefully, we'll be levelling up from them, though. Usually, harder foes mean such, doesn't it? Oh, that was tough. Yeah, some nice XP there. Yay, level up at last. Right, do we get any new abilities? We do. Seize and Flame Slash. And we get a Divine Dagger as well. Okay. Oh, it doesn't actually seem that good, though. Right, what did Fuzzy learn? Uh, flame slash, slashes, slashes an enemy with a scorching sword. Okay. And also Sizz as well, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the area of effect fire attack. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, what have I got for healing? Let's just throw a couple of healing items around. Oh, uh, okay. Fair dues then, Red. Mm, these seem to be resistant to fire. But it gets the job done still. Chain sickle. I'll see if that's any better than what we're currently using. Sadly not. It is for Nelson though. Yeah, I'm just a little bit concerned about the fact that enemies are tough again. Obviously, I don't want to be getting destroyed here, so hopefully there'll be a place to save soon. That was nasty. Hmm. Okay, let's go and speak to the guy that's in here in this room. See what he's got to say for himself. Uh, 
Uh, okay, it's just about enemy weaknesses. I'm guessing we need to go up the tower then. So before we do that, let's have a quick exploration on the outside of it. Come on. Ah, another tough fight. A little bit nervous about going up further. Uh, yeah, I think I need to throw another herb. Yeah, so those of you in chat, who's um, streaming next anyway? Is that you, is it Red Mario? Maybe Dark Swordsman. Oh, we're getting destroyed here in this place. Okay, yeah, I should be streaming myself on Monday again, hopefully. I mean, that's the idea at the minute, that's the plan. There's a band of thugs led by a bloke named Robin Hood that call this tower home, you know. Just keep your wits about you. Once you start getting close to the top floor, those upper levels are crawling with their blighters. Oh, great. Yeah, I might teleport back to a town in order to heal up. I need to see if we can teleport back here again after that, so I'd have to run back. Well, there's no loot here for us. Come on. Ah, no, Fuzzy's been paralysed and he's our healer. Maybe that's the game I was thinking of, Red Mario. With the whole Zero X uh, MP thing, killing enemies. Okay, yeah, not all here to get. So I think I'm just going to check something. Um, yeah, we can teleport straight back here. That's good. So we'll head over to Corvi, or whatever it's called. I'm going to heal up, save up, probably get some more Chimera wings. And then uh, we'll teleport back to the tower. I think that sounds like a good plan. Let's just rest a while this time. Maybe we could have a nice stroll through the tower. I think enemies might get tougher at night. But it might mean more experience. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Let's find out. Uh, right, can I... Oh, oh yeah, I can purchase Chimera Wings. And they're only 25G a pop. 
Let's get nine. That'll leave us with ten. Oh, I must have pressed the wrong button, my bad. Yeah, a lot of people say that's cheesing it, and it is, but it's also part of the mechanics, isn't it, Red, in Final Fantasy, that you can do that. It's like tradition. Except in the newer Final Fantasy games, which isn't surprising. There's no enemy in, at least no boss enemy that I know of, in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth or Remake. Where a single phoenix down will get through the encounter for you, is there? Oh, cool, Dark. Uh, what's included in the new update? Is it like new gameplay content or is it quality of life changes or just bug fixes or something like that? God, I thought I brought a whole bunch of Chimera wings. What the heck? Sometimes the interface in these games can be really annoying. I remember, I don't remember the strategies I used, Red Mario, but I remember that when I did a guide, a strategy guide on YouTube for Amiga Weapon in Final Fantasy VIII. I did two guides, a cheese method, and because I knew people were complaining about that, I also did a non-cheese method as well, to show that it can still be done. Yeah, it wasn't like um, Phoenix Down or anything, obviously. Right, have I actually got them this time? I think so. Uh, also, could I start selling some stuff? No, nope, not buy. Since my bags are starting to get a tad on the full side. Yeah, let's just sell all this jazz. Try and clean up the bags a bit. I have been slacking a little bit. Can I not select multiple things at once and then click a sell button? That would be nice. I don't think so. Oh, this is so slow. Oh man, I need to stay on top of this. If I'd had an even longer list, imagine how annoying this would have been. Just a couple of things for Cletus, thankfully. Yeah, let's get rid of all this. Sorry, guys. Nearly done here. I think I'll keep the leather dress because we just looted that. And the kilt as well. And the iron apron. In fact, I might go around and equip them. Right. Um, that's a nice defense boost. Or oh, we can equip though. Right, what are you guys saying? Oh, new cutscenes and a new difficulty as well. That's cool then, Dark Swordsman, that they're putting some new features out. Uh, I know it's annoying, guys. I am just going to pop by and save again because there's a very good chance we're going to be slaughtered in this dungeon. And I don't want to be repeating all of this stuff we've just done. Pop 
possibly read Mario. I don't remember. I just remember doing two methods, but I don't fully remember which methods they were. Okay. Right, with that done, let's head back, shall we? Yeah, back to Skyfell Tower. Yeah, what are you using, Dark Swordsman? Is it OBS? Because that's what I'm using. <laughs> Oops, I didn't need to travel too far. What the heck, Scott? <laughs> You'll need to set up a VLC playlist source as a new source, yeah. Um, if you can't add a VLC playlist, then you'll need to add, you'll need to download the VLC plugin. It's free, but the VLC OBS plugin, and then you can add it. That's the way I did it anyway, Dark. Yeah, I think it was that boss that I mentioned, Red. That was in FF8. Yeah, just uh, type VLC, those three letters, uh, OBS plugin into Google. Dark, and you should be able to get it. And then once you've added, installed that plugin, then in OBS you can add it as a source. I think it says it's a video source, like a VLC video or something. But it's VLC something, and it doesn't have to be video, even though it says that. You can just add audio files, and you can select them all then. A whole load of audio files as one source. And you can even set them on repeat or in shuffle, which is what I do. So it gives you a bit of flexibility. Yeah, this is what I saved. Fuzzy is getting destroyed here, man. Blame that ruddy caterpillar. Oh, come on. Stupid poison. Okay, the caterpillar's dead, so that's good. Ah, oh, come on. Don't die, Fuzzy. Although we have to go back to the church, I think, don't we? Come on, lots of experience. Level me up. Not too bad. But not enough for a level yet. Feel like we need to go the long way here. Bit of a detour. There best be a means of. Uh, so, best be a loot here. <laughs> Since I've made this detour now. Okay, Dark Swordsman. You had the VLC source, that's good. Yeah, no pubs, mate. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's one of these monsters that we need to send back to the dude, isn't it? Monty, yeah, that's it. So that's for the Monster Wrangler class. Which we could have. We can recruit them already. 
right from the start of the game, but I don't have one. I don't need that wizard staff. What are all these surprise attacks where they just literally open the fight and slaughter us? Good thing is we should get some good experience here for this fight. Bad thing is it's really dragging on. Yeah, that would have been good. I think I saw it like once or twice throughout the whole game, even though I managed to get it on disc one. So like, what the heck was that about, man? Um, I'm not going to heal up. I probably should, but I need to try and conserve my items. Was it three times, was it? <laughs> I don't know how you remember that, Red Mario. That was so long ago. So, yeah, we got Lionheart on disc one, and then we actually managed to cast it three times by the end of the game. Do you sometimes feel like you just wasted your time putting effort into something? I think we used it, didn't we, on the very final boss fight, story boss fight as well. Which was a nice way to finish the game. Yeah, that's right. That's what I remembered. Um, I might do at some point Dark Swordsman. That's not off the agenda completely. I just don't know when. What I would really like in that game is a way to speed up combat. It was just a little bit slow and sluggish, I found. Which was a shame because I really enjoyed the game overall apart from that. remove the poison. I might need to actually get some more of these healing, uh, poison removing status items. I want to say these enemies are getting easier now that we've been levelling up a little bit, but I don't want to speak too soon. Oh, I see, Dark. Okay. Yeah, I think we were just unfortunate, weren't we, Red, to be honest. It happens, doesn't it? Uh, let's chuck a few more seeds onto Fuzzy. Oh, hang on, could I get to... 
And I can only do one at a time. There was a seed of magic I think I missed, but we'll sort that out later. I feel like we hardly did anything that turn. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan in Final Fantasy VIII, how the limit breaks are so RNG dependent. I'd much prefer the system in FF7, if I'm honest. Maybe that's just me. Okay, this is the optional place, so we'll look in here first for any loot. Uh, there's nothing. Oh, this could be tough because these keep summoning enemies. No, it wasn't too bad in the end. Nice bit of experience too for that. Just checking how long until levels start happening. Uh, Nelson will be leveling up next. Followed by Fuzzy. But not for a while for him. I wonder if there's a way to boost experience in this game. I've not found one yet. There is. Oh, I'll leave Fuzzy alone. Yes, actually, soloing Emerald Weapon with Counter, Mime, Omni Slash um, is a really fun way of doing it. Once you've got the setup, it's actually not that difficult. It just has a lot of preparation required before it will work. Yeah, it does a lot of damage, especially if you cast a few hero drinks. To boost Cloud's stats. You can do it even faster with uh, one of Barrett's Limit Breaks as well. I think it's Anger Max. Because his attacks are so much faster than Cloud's Omni Slash attacks, you just waz through the fight in like 90 seconds if you set it up correctly. The 20 minute timer in that battle doesn't even begin to become an issue. Okay, next floor. Hmm, might be getting close to the top now. Well, I mean, obviously we're getting closer, but I mean, we might be close to the top. The only problem with the AI controlled attacks is they're not the smartest, if I'm honest. 
I would definitely choose different targets myself. But obviously it slows the battle down a lot um, to do that. Yeah, but what if you're just using standard Knights of the Round spam though, Red? Would 20 minutes be enough then, do you think? As that's probably the easiest way to set up to kill him. Getting swamped with these copper swords. Absolutely swamped. <laughs> oh yeah, the damage is comparable, but the thing with Knights of the Round though, Red, is it actually has a really long cast time compared to Omni Slash. I think it's at least like two minutes or something, maybe even a bit longer. So trying to cast enough to kill Emerald Weapon in 20 minutes can be really difficult unless you've got Knights of the Round powered up to maximum damage so it can do 130,000 damage per cast. But on its weak side, if you haven't got it powered up, then it can only do like 50,000, so less than half. Much faster, I would say. Much faster. Mm, Fuzzy's running a little bit low of the old MP here. Definitely something to be aware of. I've just noticed as well, or just remembered or realised, I guess, we've not had a boss fight yet, have we? So, get the feeling that we may be getting one shortly. Mm, close to getting a level, though. You should only get ads, Dark. Uh, 60 second of ads for every hour of watching. If you're getting more than that, then there's a bug. But hopefully 60 seconds per hour shouldn't be annoying, really. Because that's like the bare minimum you can set on Twitch. Oh, did you, Red? Right, hopefully there's a place to heal up or something because I am out of MP. Completely out. Well, we're still not at the top yet. There's a treasure chest over here. A prayer ring. Okay, that could be to do with healing. Okay, let's have a look at that, shall we? Oh, uh, Fuzz can't equip it. Let me have a look. Who actually took it? Where's it gone? Okay, where the heck is that ring that we just looted? I thought Fuzzy had taken it, but he hasn't. Nelson hasn't got it. Nope, for Romeo. Nope, for Cletus in our item bag. Oh, it's actually an item. It's not an accessory. Okay. Oh, the more we use it. Oh, that's interesting. 
So I can keep using it to restore MP. But it is eventually going to break. It, and it has broken. We've got to use it three times. Oh, yeah. that oh. Is that on your phone? Is it dark? That's a really annoying bug for you, isn't it? Yeah, that sucks that does dark. But at least you know how to fix it now, even though it's a bit annoying. Oh, there's a chest down there as well, I just saw. Let's head back on the other side. Uh, mini medal, okay. Can we get to that barrel there? Yep. Thing is, I feel like we're so close now to levelling that I should probably do that before we move on with our life. Let's have a look. 209 experience for Fuzzy. And I'm guessing there's a boss fight. Maybe, I don't know, but I'm guessing there is. Coming up, so. It might be worthwhile. Yeah, I think two or three more fights and we should grab that level then. Yeah, I've not used Twitch on my phone, Dark. But I've not had that issue on a computer. Although I only really use Twitch for streaming myself, not for watching content. Yeah, Red. Dark sadly got that stupid bug again where he had to reset things. But at least we know now what it is. Don't we? That it's not an issue with the stream or anything. Right, this should be the last fight we need to do down here. Hopefully we survive it. <laughs> oh, it's a bug with his app, Red Mario. He has to restart it. And Fuzzy's dead. I can't believe that. That is so annoying. That is incredibly annoying. That is super annoying. I don't know if I can bring Fuzzy back without teleporting out of the dungeon. Just as he was about to level as well. Is there any way to bring Fuzz back? Yeah, I don't think there is. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Do I really want to leave the entire dungeon?
Coming back here is just going to be a nightmare. I mean, the good news is we are a lot stronger now. So there is that. But yeah, it's going to teleport us back out to the bottom of the tower. Let's just go ahead and see what happens here. If not, we'll have to load the quick save or the auto save and head back to town and make our way back to the dungeon again. If we get killed or something. Ah, we're not even done with the dungeon yet. Hmm. This could be a tough fight with three party members. Oh, okay, we're not fighting them. Not yet, anyway. I just want something to bring Fussy back to life, please. Uh, is there actually anywhere we can go here? Or are we technically done in this dungeon? I think we're done. All we can do is jump off the end. Oh, maybe not. Okay, here's the boss fight. Oh, stupid fuzz. Right. What abilities have I been learning? Okay. Should we try that? I don't know how good it'll be, but... You having a laugh? Romeo cannot cast any spells. Ah! Well, it looks like it's down to Cletus then. I think I'm getting destroyed here. There's no two ways about it. I'm completely unprepared for this fight. Maybe I should just let myself be killed. Reload the quick save. I've got no healing. No items. Yeah, that's fine. Just kill us. Okay. Right, hopefully the quick save will take us not too far away. Right. Uh, continue from auto save. Oh, I don't want to do that. We'll lose a lot of gold. Um, that was on 6, uh, sorry, 4.01. What time is it now? Four minutes ago. That should be okay. Uh, 
Okay, I just need to grab the chests. Now we can head back. Don't suppose it matters where to. Any town with healing and church and other things like that that we're going to need. Oh, before we do that, let's uh, heal. Where's the church? Is it back here? I'm sure there is one, isn't there? There it is. Uh, resurrection, please. We'll come back to save in a minute. Need to heal up and stuff first. Okay, and I just want to make a mental note that resurrecting heals you back to full with MP as well. So technically, even with a dead party member, you can rest at the inn before going to the church. Then you can res and save at the same time. The good news is, okay, we died, but we did get a couple of levels, so at least we get to save those now. Well, from level 9 to level 10, but we've nearly got to level 11. Hey, where's Barado? Um, I tend to upload them the same day, and I'll keep uploading them if people want them on YouTube, which I'm guessing people will. But yeah, they'll usually go up a couple of hours after the end of the stream, usually. I'm going to have to take a break there, though, guys. I am going to try that boss fight again on Monday. Um, now that we've got our party members back up to snuff, hopefully we'll stand a chance at it this time. I'm going to have to sort out my items, actually, because right now they haven't got items on them, like healing items and stuff. So I'll probably do that off stream, ready for the fight with the boss at the start of the next stream. So folks, thank you so much for stopping by. And a big thank you for everybody that supported the stream today uh, by subscribing. That's really kind of you. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Ah, no worries, Wesperado. Yeah, by all means. Watch it later on YouTube and catch up. Uh, but yeah, you take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. And like I say, I should be back on Monday, same time, in order to pick up where we're leaving off here. So have a great day, everybody. See you then.